Today we are going to look at a combination treatment approach using the TouchQ method and the words from the Kaufman Speech Praxis Treatment Kit. Our client today is five years old with a diagnosis of childhood apraxia of speech. The client has all of the speech sounds but only about a 50 word vocabulary. She uses only one word utterances. Her articulatory and phonological characteristics include inconsistent errors on consonants and vowels and repeated production of syllables or words. More errors made in the sound classes involving more complex oral gestures, a large percentage of omission errors, groping behaviors, and difficulty sequencing speech sounds and syllables. The Kaufman Speech Praxis Test would be the most beneficial formal assessment for this type of client. The clinician chose the targeted sounds p, b, t, d, m, m, and h to correlate with the Kaufman treatment cards. These sounds also have high frequency and function in the client's vocabulary. Baseline data can be obtained through presentation of the Kaufman CVCV cards. Collection of this data would give the clinician a starting point for therapy. Now we will look at a demonstration of this type of treatment. Phase one of treatment will include nonsense words with four stages, then will be followed by phase two, which includes bisyllabic meaningful words with two stages. Stages will become increasingly more complex. Stage one, teach cues with sounds in isolation. Each consonant will have its own unique cue. Okay, ready? Stage 2. Practice cues with reduplicated syllables. Here the consonants and vowels will remain the same. Okay, now we're going to do um, reduplicate words. So we're going to do them two times in a row. Ready? Watch me first and then you do it with me. Three, practice cues with CV, CV nonsense words. Here, only the consonants will change. Notice here how the clinician uses verbal feedback for the incorrect cue. Stage 4. Practice cues with CVCV CV nonsense words. Here, both the consonant and vowel will change. Notice the clinician use verbal positive reinforcement on a one to one scale.
Phase 2. Bisyllabic meaningful words using the Kaufman speech praxis treatment target words. Stage 1 of Phase 2. Use cues with CVCV -CV words. Only the vowel will change. Ready for real words now? Okay. Dad. Stage 2. Use cues with CV, CV words. Both the consonant and the vowel will change. Hippo. Hippo. Good. Do it one more time. Hippo. Good. Muddy. Muddy. Do it again. Muddy. Good. What about penny? Penny. Watch me again. Penny. We suggest recording treatment sessions using audio and video in order to collect data after the session. Collecting data during the session can cause unnecessary pauses and distractions, especially with a younger client. Advantages to using this treatment approach are low cost, simple training for parents and caregivers for use outside the therapy setting, provides increases for child's proprioception and fine motor movement, increased intelligibility from corrected sequencing, and cues can be altered depending on clients' needs and abilities. Disadvantages of this approach include lack of naturalness in communicating with people who are unaware of the cues and the need to be intense for effectiveness, which can become time-consuming.